Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, D.C., the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So Ladies these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Marlon Magic Mariz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You get to get the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice one-two there. Going for the body, miss with that kick. Oh, nice high kick. Lee's 
shot is blocked. Nice knee to the midsection there. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Plus right hand is true. Three minutes to go. He is all about that left kick to the body. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. Back and forth we go here! Good punch. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big left hand there. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Magic Marlon Bleich. Under two minutes in the first round. <laughs> Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. 90 seconds to go now. He's very quick. He throw that body kick. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Head kick lands. Check your face. Check your face. Take some shots. Under a minute to go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Now connects with a right. Straight right is there. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Five minutes in the books. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. But Ice gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Big kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice body right under the elbow. Nice loop and punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have already landed for Marlon Marais. Landing with 41% accuracy tonight against Marlon Marais. really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Straight comes there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice kick there by Lee. Got clip with the right hand. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big punch lands through the middle. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hand upstairs. And forth we go. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy? I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And he continues to work the body here. But Ice goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. He is going to smash for a hard job. That's not a feel of that. That's one that's really knocking the head back. 20 seconds left. That's a big strike right there. Final seconds here of round number two. Big kick lands. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. 
Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big punch land. Ooh. Dig and kick. Oh man, head kick land. But Ice gets caught by that straight punch there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Getting point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Sneaky head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he caught the kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Please kick blocked. Just misses with the jab there. Big kick. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Try to establish that jab. Liver kick. Oh, good sequence there. The oh! Marais's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful fight. Big body kick lands. He gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, nice. here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Marlon Marais. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty elbow. Marais gets caught with that punch. You don't know when that leg kick comes. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books.
All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, looking to set up that hip kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice defense there, huge block. Nice kick. Marais' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Changes his stance. And they separate. Marais gets caught with that punch. Real. Oh, maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Great upper body movement. Defensively slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not enough. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... <laughs> After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Marlon Marais. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Put your hands up high. Big roundhouse now just misses. Just over two minutes to go. Nice punch there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Continuing to go to the head. Little nice body kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. But Isis Torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. But Ice going for the head kick. He misses there. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Big liberty hands under the elbow. Nice punch there by Lee. Big body. 
Watch the punch. 20 seconds left. Real quick leg kick. 15 seconds. Lands flush with that right hand. Just misses there with the left. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't fall, oh, over the top, this fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. That kick blocked by Lee. Big kick land. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. But Ice gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, big punch land. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, he is completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not sure if he's lost his will to continue, but might be time to just put that controller down and take a breather. I mean, he's gonna keep pressing those buttons for as long as he can. You gotta get him out of there if you're winning. He's gonna keep on button mashing. Right now, the button mashing becomes even more dangerous because he's like a Wolverine that you cornered. And now all of you can oh. fight for right now. Oh, he tasted that knockout light! He tasted the knockout light! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beings called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 5. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to